someone on this group chat over here, um, and I mentioned about you know the fact that while well, looking on your website, and it is very nice. It's got a lot of pictures of the services and stuff, you guys. There's some issues with like the font, and it's kind of difficult to see some things, especially with like the gray area here um, for the neon party. Um, and I basically just for my business, we help make websites, and we also help get. Uh, cut more customers to your website getting found easier in the search results and I wanted to make this quick video for you this video just shows a few ways that you can actually improve the amount of people coming to your website and um, get you some more traffic and some more customers and in this video I'm also going to show you how much traffic you know you are getting to your website compared to your competitors and uh, why they're getting more traffic than you and like I said few things that you can do to start collecting some of that traffic so um, let's go ahead and jump right in when it comes to Google optimization the first thing Google likes to see is about 1500 words of content on your home page alone um, and I have this tool here this is a free tool it's called SEO quake and it just shows me some things about your page and here it shows me that you have only 264 words of content on your home page um, this guy over here I'm sure you know them Vierta adventures they're basically the first ones that come up in the search results when you search for, you know, boat tours in, in Google. So, see, or boat tours by Arthur. Uh, they're the first ones that show up down here. And if you look at their page, they have about 1,500 words on their homepage. So, just under that. Um, so, you can see why they're beating you out for just that. Now, the next thing as far as content goes is keywords. Keywords are basically anything that anyone searches for in this bar up here to find you, whatever the services you offer. You know, you wanna make sure you're including those keywords that people are searching for in your content so that Google can match what people are searching for with, you know, the most relevant content out there on your website. Um, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is this right here. This is called the local map pack. Um, this is basically one of the best ways to get found locally in your area and usually there's only about three businesses here and this is really great for getting found locally so when people search you that you get shown up on the map here where your business is um, and they know where you're at and it's the, like I said it's the first thing that pops up in Google so it collects about 40% of the traffic from uh, the first page alone. Now the way you get into this area is by getting your company's name, address, and phone number into as many directories as possible. You know, those are things like TripAdvisor, Yellow Pages, Facebook, Yelp, or any other social media accounts. Um, the more of those that you have, the more prominent your Google My Business account will be, uh, and they'll start boosting you up to the top, and you'll be able to be in this top three and collect a lot of traffic. Down here, this is called the organic area. Um, you want to make sure that you're on the first page for collecting a lot of traffic for whatever services you're offering. So for specifically Boat Tours Vallarta, you guys are not on the first page. Um, but the way you get into the first page is by basically looking at Google like it's a popularity contest. There's all these things called backlinks, which are basically links from other websites to your website. The more of these links that you have, the more powerful your website seems to Google and they start boosting you up in the search results and you can end up here on the first page and getting a lot more traffic. Um, I'm going to show you this tool over here. This is called uh, this is called Ahrefs. This is a most powerful tool that I use in my industry to see you know, how much traffic someone is getting to their website and why they're getting that traffic. So right now you guys get about 98 people to your website a month on average and you have 123 keywords that people are searching for and to find you right and we'll go and look at those keywords but it shows me that you have no backlinks so no websites linking back to your website now we can compare yours to Vallarta Adventures and you can see that they get 118,000 people that look at their website a month and they have 2,400 uh, websites linking back to their website and it's giving them a very powerful URL rate rating and domain rating. This shows me basically you know, the quantity of links that they have, and this one over here shows me the quality of those links. So like I said before, not all links are created equal. So when you're finding links, you wanna make sure that you're getting quality links. And the way that you do that is by looking at the links that these guys have and going and getting those same links. 
So let's take a look at the keywords that you guys are ranking for. So right now you guys are in the top position for when people search neon party, party neon. Um, you're in the sixth position on Google. So the sixth position down for Arcos on Animas Quinsamalos, Quinsamato, uh, Animas Puerto Vallarta, Fiesta Neon Party. So Puerto Vallarta, Quinsamito, Torres Los Arcos, Puerto Vallarta, you can see all these ones you're not on the first page you're on the second or third page of google so these would be great things to to rank for because you can actually see how many people are searching these specific terms a month so for example um puerto Vallarta quixamito is searched 700 times a month torres los arcos that one searched 80 times a month uh ailas marietas marietas is 200 uh, Playa Quinsamito, Puerto Vallarta, 900. So there's so many people that are searching all these specific terms, but you guys are not on the first page, so you're not actually getting found for it. So those are definitely keywords that you would want to target. Now if we can look over at Vallarta Adventures, you can see that the keywords that they're targeting, um, they're basically in first place for all these keywords. So all these beaches, Islas Mar Marietas, uh, tours in Puerto Vallarta, uh, Vallarta, uh, Playa Escondido, Isla, Islas Marietas Torres, um, all these terms that you guys could be at least on the first page for, they're in the first position for, and all these terms have like over 600 people that search them a month. So if you could target specifically just some of these terms, you would start collecting some of this traffic and start getting hopefully thousands and thousands more people to your website a month. Um, and start taking some of the traffic that, that these guys are getting at Vallarta Adventures. So, like I said, the three things that I, I wanted you to take a look at are basically, you know, getting content on your homepage, uh, making sure you're getting at least 1,500 words of content, and then you want to make sure that you're adding in those specific keywords that people are searching for with high search volumes, you know, ones that people are looking for. And uh, then additionally, if you want to get found locally, in this map pack, you need to get your name, address, and phone number into as many uh, directories as possible, things like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Facebook, Instagram. Um, and then for the organic area, to get found on the first page for these keywords, so you can start collecting some of these big traffic numbers that Vallarta Adventures is, has, you need to get more of those backlinks. And like I said, those are the most powerful things, is just going out and finding websites that you can get um, these backlinks for and that'll push you up in the search results and I have a list of them here of at least the ones that these guys Have backlinks on and the way to do do this is just basically to go out and get these links from all these other places these other associations that you have um, And that will start boosting you up and you can start stealing some of the traffic from these guys so uh, I hope this was helpful and if you want to chat some more please reach out to me. Uh, I would definitely love to help you guys and maybe show you, get, get you guys a new website, uh, one that's a little easier to read. Because like I said here on Neon Party, there's some things that I mean, it's just a little difficult to read. It's a beautiful website, but some of the font is not super easy. Um, and I mean, here you have, it says 700 Mexican pesos. It's discounted 100 Mexican and it shows 550. Yesterday it showed uh, 550 and a discount to 400 and that was wrong as well so I don't know just shoot me a message uh, on my email and um, we can chat and we can talk some more if you guys are interested all right thanks a lot and have a great rest of your day